Hello, welcome back. This is Craig. Another way to change a color in Photoshop is to use an adjustment layer that uses hue and saturation. And the beauty of this is that you can change things that are in an actual photograph to match a certain color. So here's an example. Um, the shirt that the little boy is wearing used to be, or the original color, was this teal color. And sometimes you want to match a color to a brand color or a logo color. Color. So how we do that is we just have to first isolate this as a selection. So let's zoom in here on his shirt. And I found the best way to make a selection like this is just to type P and we'll go directly into the pen tool. And the pen tool is going to allow us to click and drag and we are going to make a selection that basically splits the blur. If you look closely here, I'm splitting the blur from where that shirt hits the background. Split the blur and we will draw a path all the way around the shirt. So we'll go all the way around the shirt. We'll come up here into this kind of the elbow area. Come down here. We will make sure that we go around the thumb down here there's some of, some of the shirt. We'll make sure we grab that. Come up around her hair, do the best we can with that selection. Along her hair and make sure we get this little bit of his arm sleeve here. So I am going to continue to click and drag, click and drag, and just to save you a little time, I will finish this path and I will be back right after I do that. You do the same. Okay, so I've just finished up my path. As you can see, the path goes all the way around. Around here. I've even dipped down here. Let's see, around the thumb. I'll scoot it just a little bit. Around the thumb. I've tried to split that blur wherever it goes. This is also a path in here. When you're finished with one path, you can just draw another path here, and it includes it. If you look in the path palettes over here, it includes it all as one. So I have masked out her hair, zigzagged around there just a little bit, and included these other little pieces as well. So once I have the area selected that I want to change the color of, what I will do is I will turn this path into a selection. And I do that by simply typing command return. And that will turn that selection. Notice all these little outlying pieces as well, those little paths. It turns the entire thing into one selection. So back on the layers area, now what I will do is I have to blur that just a little bit. And I want to put just maybe a two pixel blur on here. So I will go here up under select, modify, and feather that edge and I will put um, I'm just gonna put two in here so I get a little bit of a feather and it doesn't look quite as crisp as you can see in the photograph it is feathered a little bit in the original so I want to continue to do that so I'll click OK you don't really see too much happen there but um, trust me it's uh, it's feathered so the next thing that I want to do is I want to think about which color I want this to turn into and if I want to sample this, uh, this purple color, um, I'm going to quick type a B, jump over to my brush, and this is a little quick key I do quite a bit, B to jump over to the brush and then Option to get your, um, your eyedropper tool. So now I've sampled that. I haven't lost my selection. Um, I'll type V to go back to my um, main selection tool, my move tool. I'm going to click on this purple color and you will see here this HSB, um, Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. Um, if you remember your color theory from college or from high school or just reading on your own, um, Hue is kind of the color, and Saturation would be the intensity or the um, like the chroma of that color, and Brightness would be similar to the value, where it's a light or dark color. So I am going to jot these three numbers down 284, 46, and 64. And then I can just simply close this. You can click cancel if you want. Now over to my layer here. I have 
the selection active. I'm on the photo layer that I want to change the color of the shirt. I'm going to go down here to adjustment layer and I'm going to choose hue saturation. So now my adjustment layer pops up and lo and behold you'll see, you'll see that I have three sliders hue, saturation, and lightness. So first thing I want to do is I want to colorize this so I'm going to click the little colorize icon. Okay and you can see it's already at 284 probably because I did this before. Uh, it could have been way over here in green um, but I'll type in 284 and then tab down I'll type in 46 and then I will type in 64. Okay, And you can see that this color when applied over top of that um, that kind of aqua color uh, that's how it looks because remember that in order to keep all the shadows here in the highlights it keeps part of that color and the kind of the build of that photo image behind it. So all I have to do now is I'm going to keep the 284 because I know that gives me my purple. The saturation is probably pretty good. I'm just going to pull my lightness down a little bit and I bet I'll start to get close. And all I'm doing is I'm comparing it to the purple over here, the brand color. Um, I might want to bring it down just a little bit more and I'm going to bring my saturation down just a little bit more too. It's a little bit bright. See, it's like really, really neon-y and kind of glowy. So I'm going to bring my saturation down just a little bit. And just like everything else in Photoshop, I am simply comparing this color, the average that my eye sees with the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, to this color, which is the brand color, which is a flat brand color, that I'm trying to um, match. So I'm just going to keep playing with it a little bit. I'm going to brighten it just a little bit. I'm also thinking about marketing and that I want the color to be fun and enjoyable for kids. So I don't need a perfect match and I actually like it being just a little bit brighter. So I'm going to darken it a little bit with the lightness slider and I'm going to brighten it just a little bit with the saturation slider. Now if you can remember that we blurred it just a little bit, if I zoom in here, you'll see that that color blends because we feathered the edges, those two pixels, that purple blends out until it hits this nice kind of timey green color on the wall. And it does a pretty nice job of blending into all of those areas. So again, this is if you want to match um, a shirt like this. I see this quite a bit in advertising um, where they have a logo for a magazine or a catalog cover and they'll want to match the clothing that's on um, one of the models or one of the pieces or one of the talent. Um, that they want to match that to the, the logo color and this is how they do it. So now you have an adjustment layer that is attached to your main photo and this can at any time you can go back into this and adjust it if you don't like it. That's why I keep this adjustment layer because as we say about Photoshop files um, this is non-destructive meaning that it does not alter your original photograph. It um, does it on a separate layer. So I could turn this off and I go right back to where I was. Well, I hope this helps. Um, thank you very much.